Beloved in Christ, I hardly welcome you to this pleasant day the Lord has made always in our lives. The Lord has stepped, has ticked out this day for you and I, for us to stand in our way of Him. What are your positions now? What are you doing? How are you adhering and how are you heeding to the word of God? What are your positions now, my brethren, brothers and sisters? So me to serve unto the Lord, reverence his name, give him thanks that is due to him. Say, praise his holy name because he deserves all praise and honor causes. Cause he is whom honor is to so do the needful. Keep reverencing his holy name. Raise up your hands and keep reverencing him. Thank him, thank you for the gift of life, for his provision and sustenance, for having given the grace to be in his presence, Lord. I thank you for your great works in our lives. We thank you for your for the grace you've conferred and the strength you've bestowed upon us to do that, in which is needed for us to do. Lord, may you continue to bless the works of our hand. May you enrich. May you direct. May you promote. May you take us to our heart desire. May you give us that in which we are looking upon you, so that as your word is coming forth, let this word speak for them and let this work. Assign them for that in which they are earth to do, remote and shape them for greater lives. Lord bless each and every one of their lives, direct their path, because you are their author and finisher of their faith. So shall it be in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, brethren. Our topic says today, you must be celebrated. Put your hands on your chest, said, I must be celebrated. I must be celebrated. Can I hear living? Amen. <laughs> Amen, beloved. Amen. I'm so happy to be in our midst to expatiate what, we, what I have for us. I want us to put, pay heed to the word of God, listen to it at the end, construction. Make sure as you're opening, make sure you finish it at the end so that you know what the word is talking about. Okay, my beloved, today is a wonderful day that the Lord has made. In your life, therefore rejoice and be glad in it. Do not allow the lies of Satan to weigh you down. Yes, the lies of Satan to weigh you down or depress you. Do not let the sins you committed in the past destabilize you because God has assured you that this year is your year of divine entrainment. I ask you now, what do you believe? Is it Satan who was defeated over 2000 years ago or the king of glory? Who reigns forever, God, in his divinity and power, has promised to bless you if you will continue to believe and walk with the Holy Spirit. You must re realize that everything in life is about Jesus Christ. In him, you were made righteous of God. In accordance with the prophecy of this year, I announce to you, beloved in Christ, you are that. Announce to you that you have been chosen for signs and wonders this year. In fact, throughout this year, you will live to testify the goodness of God in your life, needs in your health, needs profession, and your destiny. And this is why you must not allow anything in form of distraction, unbelief, idiocy to steal your passion. Instead, recognize that everything you need in life is already in you. Ecclesiastes said, 3 verse 1 say to everything there is a season a time for every purpose under heaven tell us that there is a season a time for everything purpose under heaven based on god was your time and season of hardship struggle sorrows pains barrenness poverty and all manner of sickness are over this year and beyond are your season and time of celebration of victory and divine blessing. I announce to you that you will be celebrated. If you stir up your faith and in agreement with God, you will receive your healing forever. You will receive your healing, favor, dreams, prosperity, and open doors as long as you live and serve God rightly. As long as you live and serve God rightly, brethren, that is your case. Believe in yourself that you are already celebrated. How to have that positive mindset to have that positivity in us because jesus has created us to be positive you see he put he put that we are uh, we have this positivity and negative yeah 
So we have to choose the good parts of life because this life is full of good and bad, okay? So believe in God and his works in your life and stand firm. You will overcome. The truth me level 14 said that I will give you the rain of your hand is due season, the first rain and the letter rain. Thou that Mayas gather in the corn and the wine and the oil. What is trying to imply to us that he will give you rain. Rain that will take off those pains in your life. He will give you the rain of land your season. When your time is right. It's just like a seed planted and when it's time for rip, ripe, that is when it's meant for plugging and you will be able to consume it. That is what it's telling you. When your time is here, there is time and season for everything under the purpose of air. We should have this reason on two earths. We should reason it. Leviticus 26 verse 7 says, And ye shall chase your enemy and they share. Fall before you by the sword, brethren. See, our life ever first really says something. It said, He has given you power. See, He has given you power over this at the right time. Your, your season, your, you, at the right season, everything will manifest himself. Like I use a tree plant as an example to her. See, believe in God that you have been given. Use that your source. See, in our lives, we should know, determine yourself, identify yourself. Yes, know yourself for one thing. Let God have the way. No matter what will come your way to destabilize your faith, stand your ground. You know who you are. Believe in God, irrespective of the town, in the, irrespective of the trauma that will come your way. See, brethren, you are favored, and the Lord has bestowed gifts, a lot of gifts in you. So, how do you believe? That that has that has been entrusted you is ever effective. Clinch to the word of God, made him your shield, made him our thing. Like we defend our cause in the high institution, so will you defend your faith one devil come to take you off your faith. See, you shouldn't give over to the enemy. You need to be celebrated, and we don't need to be left unaided. Ecclesiastes 1 3 say, What profit had a man of all his labor which he take it unto the sun? What is your profit? We all go out for a greener pasture at the end, we came back. Either happy or sad. So, brethren, we keep working, isn't it? So, how are you working in the Lord? How? How, how are you making ends? We keep working. What profit had a man of all his labor which he take it unto the how, how have you been working? We don't give up on our place of work, on our or all the, the, the our physical needs. We don't give up. We make sure that we get and attend to them as well. So how is your close relationship with God? How are you how consistency are you in the things of Him? Are you working in order to be celebrated, or are you working in order to be dismayed, or to be ridiculed or casual? See. Fight the good fight. Start the start for the beginning and end well. When you start well, you end well. But if you didn't start well, you will not end well. That is the logic here. Yeah. I'm telling us today that you need to stand well so that you end well. Believe in God, the maker number one. Believe in yourself. Fight the battle ahead of you. Stand your ground. What at the end comes fruition. You'll be celebrated. Deuteronomy 65 says, Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn fast unto the Lord thy God in the place where the Lord shall choose, because the Lord thy God shall place thee in all that increase and all the works of thy hands. Therefore, thou shalt surely rejoice, rejoice in your days of in your days of afflictions. Rejoice. See, you might learn a skill and it's very, very hard for you. To be able to gain contrast, claim to all that you look yourself like you haven't standed. You like is God with me? Brethren, He is. Whatever you've been through, you've gone to four rows of scones and you came out without no job. Believe in God, your maker. Because you've trusted Him with that. Believe the end. Whatever sickness that holds you down, just believe in God that is able. He raised the dead from the dead. 
that resurrection is still going on. It's ongoing. People are dead and revived. Yes, people are brought back to life as miracle of faith. You can make it happen, brethren. God will revive. That God who did the miracle in us of the earth. He is still in you. He is the miracle is on when people are testifying. People are giving testimony. What are your own testimony, brethren? Stand your ground. Believe in God. For you to be celebrated has many ways to go about it. You need to stand your ground. You need to believe in your maker first because believing is not easy. So when you believe in God and know all his good words, but how will you know God with all his good words? You read the word of God. I keep hitting this on earth. Read, study, measure. Then you see life like nothing. You know how to attend to people. When people come your way, you know how to talk to them. You know what, what category does these people belong. Yes, you can be able to differentiate the right from wrong. That is how the word of God um, propagates us to that I had to say. You need to really work in spirit for you to get there. For you to be celebrated, there is a lot to it. So the Lord is that know your God. Those who know the Lord will be strong to do exploit. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Pray to know your God and see what the Lord has in stock and in plan for you because you are here is not by accident, it's for a reason. So stand your ground, be relevant, focus, be positive at all times. Positivity, focus, dedication, consistency lead to pro lead to progress and lead to divine accomplishment. But if you faint, you will not be celebrated. How will you start a journey at the end? You didn't end well. Let us pray, pray for us that that in which we have started, the Lord will finish it to the end. He has called us to this light and oh, there is no going back. Hold your hand on your chest and say, there is no going back. That you will live and testify the good works of God because you are destined for greatness. We should be bothered about the things of the world that rot and decay. We should be concerned about that good plans God has for us. His plan shall come to fruition in our lives in Jesus' name. So let's take this revolutionary revolution prayer like our life depends on it. Jesus, I seem to be at ease with crying than taking pleasure in the freedom and joy that comes from you. The challenges of life seem to take a greater part of me, such that I have forgotten how to enjoy life. Lord, arise and restore the joy of my salvation and denounce every work of the enemy that has obscured the daily manifestation of joy in my life. Help me acknowledge my weakness before you, deal with it and let Go all filthiness so that I can have more of you every day as a sign of victory over the enemy and his demons of negative thoughts and saturation. Fill me now with the grace to regain my hilarity. I know the laughter they say is good medicine, and that when alive, I express your goodness and throw the devil into confusion. Infuse in me laughter that will elicit love, charity, and kindness. I know you deserve. I know you desire that I have a merry heart, therefore my my faith. I lead the hesitating spirit and henceforth I take pleasure in joy, in joyous moments of the Holy Spirit for healing, breakthrough and miracle through the blood of Jesus Christ. I receive my season and time of all around celebration, laughter with our soul. Amen. This is revelation and prayer for laughter. As you take it on in your heart and believe in God, so shall be your case. Just stand your ground. Hold on the faith. Keep going. You don't give up. Like you don't give up in your work, you make sure you go to work every day in order to make ends meet, in order to put food on your table, take that, the word of God, the way you make all the things. If I take the word of God higher, so that it will yield fruitful fruits in your life, yes, that is my concern to us, I don't want us to be encouraging, but to be seen as the daughter and sons of our maker. I want us to be joined here at the end of a ten a year net, so that our joy, which is everlasting, will supersede that 
which the devil is using to mesmerize us. As we cling to the word of God and believe in him, may he continue to keep us strong in him, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I see the many daughter of Zion and your family. Stay tuned for a life transforming message. Bye for now.